from the day you think of a project and you want to take that project or that idea, that opportunity, and see if it's, it's viable, and then you actually produce it and start selling it to the last time when you're out servicing it or you're talking to that customer, it is simply everything you do. How do you do it? First off, you have to know the landscape. And this slide just sort of breaks it down where you have the industry, you have your competition, you have your customer, you have you, and then finally you have your niche. It's being found. It's not, and we've heard this over and over and over, it's not build it and they will come. Being found is being visible. It's not the same, you know, finding you is not the same as being found. Finding you is the steps you're taking, search engine optimization if we want to go to an online market. And so really being found needs to be a mix of traditional and online marketing. It's not one or the other, it is both. And marketing starts with the business owner. You have the traditional side and, and we list there, you have promotions, you have publicity, you have PR, we've had those for years. They're still important, they haven't changed. We just need to continue to, to try all of those means, but also today we need to add that online presence. You have to brand, and we've worked with branding. Who are you? What, what do you want to represent? And you build that over time. It's reputation, it's colors, it's look. Once they know you're there, and, and you see how many times it takes, three to five times, so they're even going to remember that you exist. And then it's going to take seven or ten times for them to take action. You have to be very explicit in your marketing about what that taking action is. So, and, and this says it so very well about support. If you make a sale, you can make a living. If you make an investment in that customer, you can earn a fortune. We want, with our marketing effort, to do more than have a one-time shot. Not only bring them back again and again and again, but have them become our spokesperson. That's the best uh, marketing we can probably do is when they start telling our story for us. A little bit about service statistics. Before the internet, uh, a dis dissatisfied customer, we always learned, told about 10 people, and up to 13% of people would tell 20 people. But look at today and hear the stories of what the internet can do. If I'm unhappy, I now have a worldwide audience. That is key for business owners to be listening to their customers and working on their service statistics, hearing what's being said about them, and not just hearing, but then stepping out and rectifying it. They can be your biggest fan. So what we're talking about is forming relationships, learning about what that customer wants early on, before they're even a customer you're trying to find out, and then you're nurturing them, you're keeping in contact with them, you're telling them what's going on in the store. Word of mouth is one of the best ways that we can sell our business. The profit, the price, the packaging, the promotion, don't ignore those. When I said marketing is everything you do, I mean it's everything you do. Today, it's a lot of it is experience, and so what is the experience that customer? And lastly, measure what works. So you have to always be asking yourself what's working and what's not working. And we call it A-B testing. Put out two uh, ads, just slightly different. See which one gets the biggest return. Maybe it's the call to action that you change on them. Maybe it's color. Maybe it's what papers you put it in. This was the better paper to put the information in. Then you know, A was better than B or B was better than A. So you always have to be thinking of that even as you design the message, whether that message is verbal or whether it's some type of written, whether it's online, offline, makes no difference. 